I mean, every one of these episodes is really just <laughs> like for one moron to try to like, <laughs> all right, I'm going to become a priest. How would I stay celibate? <laughs> oh, here's a how-to video. Oh, I'm going to rob a convenience store. <laughs> And run for president? I got this. There are many topics and concepts we are all familiar with, but aren't exactly sure how they work. Each week, Alan Fitzgerald and I choose a topic and try our best to explain it. This is Explaining Things. All right, welcome back to another episode of Explaining Things. As always, I'm your host, Jonathan Tilson, and now I have a co-host, Alan Fitzgerald. What's up, everybody? Due to popular demand. We'll be in your computer screen every week. Every week, every Tuesday, whether you like it or not. How would you become part of the Japanese Mafia? Mm. This is an easy one. <laughs> well, first things first, got to learn how to eat with chapsticks, right? That's it. <laughs> that's a bare minimum. That, I mean, that's going <laughs> to... That's the clear this guy doesn't belong. Yeah. I mean, listen, you got to learn how to eat with chopsticks, or else the first thing they're going to say is, hey, Round Eye can't even eat with chopsticks. <laughs> how can we let him in? <laughs> How's he supposed to use nunchucks if he can't use chopsticks? I feel like this has to be the Chris Rock bit, when he talks about, like, when you see a white guy in a gang, you know that guy did the most fucked up shit of anyone. Yeah, you got to... Just to get the approval. you got to stand out. All right, so you need yourself... Uh, black suit, black tie. Bang. Obviously, right? Black suit, black tie. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but they have ornate tattoos. Yeah. Right? And I feel like you have to do that at least. When you see a white sumo wrestler, he still does the hair thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's like this isn't his culture, but it, like out of respect for the game. You got to dive right into that culture, man. White guy in the gang, he wears a do-rag too. Like Eminem is a rapper. It's like he doesn't just speak like us. Yeah, he doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't wear sweater vests and shit. <laughs> Good press suit, tattoo, and then you got to be ready to do fucking anything. Learn your swords. You got to get a katana sword. You got to learn how to hang with that stuff. And it's not like you're going to be using the katana sword they, a ton. They use guns. I know, but still, it's derived from the samurai culture. Yeah, that's very important. But do they do they ever use swords? Now you you've watched Tokyo Vice. I have. I not. have. Okay, so yes, you're, you're which obviously... shows you this guy's lazy. <laughs> Learn the sword just so you can say you know it. You know, so you care. Like uh, if you're going to be like a musician, like know the history of music out of respect for the craft. Yeah. You know, even if you're the lead singer, you should learn how to play guitar. Now, as far as Tokyo Vice is concerned, do they still use ninja stars? Do they still use the katana? No. It's mostly guns. Yeah, of course, it's you guns. You can't bring ninja stars to a gunfight. <laughs> you can't. Not bring that That's how the saying goes in Japan. Yeah, like, I, I don't care how <laughs> 1980s the action film is. If, that being if, said, American Ninja was a banger. One through five. <laughs> Check it out. So, <laughs> like, if you just fucking travel to Japan, like, you have to, A, figure out where you would go to even broach this. So you've got to walk around. You probably don't know... <laughs> Don't know Japanese. Just, probably don't know Japanese. Excuse me. Excuse Japanese me. mafia. Ma yeah. Where do I find? I'm not a cop. <laughs> Yakuza. <laughs> Drawing pictures. <laughs> Stick figures with guns. The only chance is to get there early and fucking be there for probably 15 years. Learn the lay of the land. You're going to uh, be making a lot of miso soup start, and things like that. Start selling drugs or something on your own and get successful enough that the mafia would have a purpose for you. So you're selling drugs on your own, then they come like, all right, you've done that, but now you work at the bottom the way up. So you've gone from selling drugs to fucking, you know, chopping up celery and carrots and putting in a hot soup. If you got their attention from drugs, they're not going to make you their fucking cook. Yeah, they do. You start from the bottom, John. <laughs> and they're at least going to make you a henchman or something to start. <laughs> yeah, but while you're training to be a henchman, you're going to, you know... Earn your keep somewhere else. Yeah, that's how it works. Soup. I feel like they don't want a white guy making their cuisine. <laughs> like, people kind of take pride in making their own food. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, oh, who made the teriyaki sauce? Oh, my God. Ralph? He yeah. can't even eat with chopsticks. It's like even in, even in our stupid country, it's like, hold on, cheesesteak? Not from Philly? Yeah, yeah. What do you mean there's a Scotsman behind the grill? <laughs> it's Italian. Not the Scottish. Yeah. Or as you like to call them, of course, the Scottish, the trans-Irish. The, the girly Irish the with girl their plaid skirts. <laughs> their skirts. You guys are wearing skirts. <laughs> well, what's up with you? I mean, that's cool and all nowadays, whatever, but... The amount of confidence you have to be to wear a skirt as a straight guy. Yeah. You have to have a lot of confidence, too, because you play the worst instrument ever invented. Worst instrument ever. <laughs> it's only mournful. How do we make a wooden octopus talk? <laughs> You're fucked no matter what. But if there ever was a chance... You have it's to, probably a really bad idea. You have to absorb... Hold on, should we give our audience a warning right now? Please do not try to join the Japanese mafia. <laughs> you, well, I don't want to tell you what to do. <laughs> but don't say you weren't warned. <laughs> 
right. absorb the culture, start a small business, funnel drugs through your small business, yes. reach a point where you matter enough that the mafia can use you, and then you transition. Absolutely. If you can help, if you could wash Japanese mafia money with your business, that's a really Absolutely. good start. Absolutely. Start a fucking laundromat and let's do this. Why a laundromat, John? On your market set, canceled. <laughs> Jonathan Tilson, ruined forever. Don't blame me, blame society. I do not consider myself a racist. You're at a podium. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the next, next episode of Explaining Things. Uh, get there early. Absorb the skills, okay? Absorb the culture. Chop okay. sticks. Learn how to cook. Learn how to eat. Use those chopsticks. Get a nice press suit. Open a small business that you funnel drug money through. Get large enough that the mafia mm -hmm. notices you and they can use you. It's either that or you got to set up an elaborate scheme where you save the life of someone high up in the Yakuza. Oh, that's a good one, too. That's always a good one. That's your easier plan. <laughs> Probably. I mean, I don't know if it's easier, but it's definitely if faster. If you're into cutting corners, that's the way to go. <laughs> I know I'm into cutting corners. I love shortcuts. We haven't even mentioned you have to learn Japanese. <laughs> You have to learn a complicated... Learned, they've got translator apps on the smartphone now. You're just head of the <laughs> Japanese mafia, and you're speaking to your second-in-command through a translator app. My phone's frozen. I can't tell who to put the hit on. Looks like I'm back to pantomiming. <laughs> All right, and I think that's the, uh, the best way for you to join the Japanese mafia. Uh, tune in next Tuesday. I'm Jonathan Tilson. I'm Alan Fitzgerald. Konnichiwa. Until next time.